The strings louder. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Switcher T Score, and today I'm bringing you guys Mothership with every assault rifle, episode number two. And this one is using the HVK 30. And I was playing 6v6 domination on the map Nuketown in this game. And uh, in today's video, you guys, I kind of just want to talk about uh, some of the things that I like and don't like about Black Ops 3. I don't really think uh, out of all the videos I've made so far on Black Ops 3, I don't think I've made a video kind of telling you guys, like, my opinions on the game overall and stuff. So, uh, I guess I'll start with some of the things that I like about this game. Uh, one of the main things that I really like about Black Ops 3 so far is just, uh, I feel like the weapon balancing is really, really good in this game. I feel like there's a lot of weapons that you can use and play well, and I feel like the game is kind of more based on, uh, skill, instead of just like, oh, he's using the best gun, so he's just gonna beat you, like, every gunfight. Like, uh, in some other games, like Call of Duty Ghosts and, like, Advanced Warfare, I felt like if you were just using, like, the best guns in the game, I felt like you just always did super well and those guns were always just, you know, overpowered or they were, like, way better than some of the other weapons. But in Black Ops 3, I feel like I can use just about any gun and still play well. And, uh, that's something that I wish, uh, was just in every Call of Duty game because it makes the game a lot more fun. Like, I already have a mothership with all the SMGs and all the assault rifles and uh, half of the LMGs right now and it was actually pretty easy to do it's not like there was any like absolutely horrible weapons that were like impossible to use uh, like the weapon balancing in this game is just really really good and that's something I really do enjoy and uh, as for the maps you guys the maps in Black Ops 3 uh, I don't really know how I feel about them exactly I feel like there's no really, really bad maps, but then I also feel like there's no amazing maps, really, like, I mean, I just feel like the maps in this game are a little bit too big. Like, most games, like, I see, like, uh, whether it's me or somebody else, like, the highest amount of kills in most games is, like, you know, like, 30 or something in, like, an entire domination game. Whereas in, like, Black Ops 2 or MW3, I could get 60 kills or more every single game, like, every single match. And I feel like in Black Ops 3, in a way, it's kind of a faster-paced game because of the thrust jumps and the wall running and stuff. But then also, I feel like the game is just, like, a little bit more slow-paced. It just kind of seems like the maps are a little bit too big and people just don't really get that many kills. And that's something that I wish uh, was kind of different about this game. I kind of wish the maps were a little bit smaller. Uh, you know, I just feel like a lot of the maps in this game are kind of too big, and it kind of makes the game a little bit slow at times, so I just wish the maps were a little bit smaller. And then also, you guys, the kill streaks. You know, for me personally, I only like going for Mothership gameplays. That's what I'm doing right now, is just trying to get a Mothership with, like, every gun in the game. But I know for a lot of other people and for watching gameplays, I just think the kill streaks aren't really that good in Black Ops 3. I've heard they're going to buff the kill streaks. Uh, they're going to buff the higher ones especially and make them a lot stronger uh, because they just haven't really performed as well as they thought they would. But uh, just for like watching gameplays and stuff, it seems like the kill streaks are pretty weak. And uh, I kind of wish. <coughs> Sorry, you guys, I've been kind of sick lately, but I kind of wish the kill streaks were stronger in this game. Like I know in Black Ops 2, I like the swarm and the dogs and the VTOL warship and stuff. Uh, the kill streaks were just so dominant in that game. And uh, sometimes I don't really like watching like the 250 kill games, but I do like the kill streaks to actually be good and get a lot of kills if they take you a lot of time to get. So hopefully they'll buff some of the streaks in this game. That'll be pretty good. That's mostly what I like and dislike about Black Ops 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll make some more about that.